We are here at the Le Moines Crematory, the first one here in the United States. I'm telling me and Emily, Frank and I'll be with us tonight. And let you see the sign. This is the building. Here's Emily. Would love to go in here. Don't know who to contact to get to get inside, but I will figure it out. Probably Washington County Historical Society. They probably own it. All right. So we'll try to contact the Washington County Historical Society. They try to gain access to this property. I think this is pretty awesome. Would definitely like to come here at night and try to investigate this place. It's really creepy, creepy vibes. Is it, uh, he lost you. Yeah, I know. Okay. He texted me. Okay. He just texted me. He said, it lost you guys. Would definitely like to know how many bodies were cremated here since this was the first one ever, from what I understand. Uh, are you still going? Are you live? No, no, I'm not live no more. No, I'm just recording the video. Oh, okay. Because I lost connection on the live stream. Oh. So I, all I know is he, he started cremating bodies, so the water supply would not get contaminated, contaminated from bodies being buried in the ground. Um, it says... First crematorium in the United States, built in 1976. Um, the first cremation took place on December 6th, 1876. Uh, Lemoyne believed the cremation was a more sanitary way to dispose of bodies. Hold on, here comes a fire truck. contamination of drinking water um, after 41 more cremations there with Lemoyne being the third in 1879 the crematory was closed in 1901 yeah his remains are apparently buried here right um, it says it was considered a historical landmark on February 16th, 1996. Um, it says, let me see. Oh, the first cremation was Baron Joseph Henry Louis Charles de Palm, uh, an impoverished Bavarian noble. He was the first one to be cremated here. Okay. Um, the final cremation had occurred the year prior of its closing in 1900 on November 28th. In 1953, the Pennsylvania Historical and Museum Commission installed a historical marker noting the historic importance of the crematorium. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places on February 16, 1996. Oh, Frank. It is designated as a historic public landmark by the Washington County History and Landmarks Foundation. Today, the structure can be found in the same location off South Main Street. The Washington County Historical Society occasionally offers limited tours. 
So there you go. That's who we got to get a hold of. Okay. But that's just a little bit of history. Frank's like, what happened to your stream? I'm like, uh, we lost connection. So we will contact the Washington County Historical Society to see if we can gain access to the property, which I hope we can. I still like know what this thing is in the back. This thing's just creepy. It looks like they hang people here or something. It's just weird. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, just filming, just filming the property. I can't see without my sunglasses. I'm sorry. I think we gotta should come back and try to contact Mr. Julius Lemoyne Lemoyne at yeah, some point. Yeah, like we'll have to do it. Like this place was it was all serene until we pulled up. Right. As soon as we pulled up to check it out. There was nothing but cars flying by, deer attacking us from the woods. Right. I almost got hit by a fire truck crossing the street. <laughs> no, like fire trucks are going by. Every car in the world, I mean, what happened to fucking staying home? Right. Every car in the world has come by. Um, and the house next door to this place is for sale. And of course, two dickheads, contractors, pull up and are next door working on this house as we're trying to look at this place right i mean i'm I mean, just like, wondering <laughs> put like a camcorder here just shooting on the grave the whole time yeah we can put in there i would like to get in there right definitely want to get in there but yeah that's what I'm like we came up to do some stuff there wasn't a car on the road now all of a sudden right it's fucking grand central station but... well another thing to do is contact the historical society see what we can do about this so we can get in there right <clears throat> We're gonna leave it to that and everybody watch this video and listen to my and, potty mouth. And listen to Emily's potty mouth and like the video, subscribe to us on Facebook and the Instagram. House there looks like the Amityville house. Right. A little bit. Good look, turn. Bring your camera. See this white house down here? Look. Yeah. See me pointing. Right. See that white house? Yeah. Come this way. Look at the two windows on the other side of the chimney. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I it kind of looks like <laughs> Amityville house. <laughs> and then that's gonna be a wrap for this video.